Chuyện Hey, uh, Justin Honiger, if you're in here, can you come please to the stage? Also, harmonics, guys. All right, thanks. We'll be back soon.
sing your shit out. guys, how are you? Yeah! This is awesome. There's a lot of you guys here today. That's sweet. You guys having fun? Yeah. 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 So uh, my name is Nick. I'm from Harmonix Music Systems. Uh, we made Rock Band and Dance Central and those games you might have heard of. This is Annette. She's also from Harmonix. Say hi to Annette. And that's Justin over there. He's uh, from Double Fine. He's holding up our confidence monitor. Give him a big hand. Totally by design. That was the plan. So we are here today to show you um, the next uh, the next game we're working on. It's called Disney's Fantasia Music Evolved. It is a um, motion music game coming out to Xbox One and the Xbox 360 next year. Um, if you're familiar with Fantasia, the Disney film, uh, 1940s film, that's over 70 years ago right now. It's pretty old, kind of a weird movie. Um, it's what Walt Disney, Walt Disney called an adventure in color, sound, and motion. And the original plan for that movie was to build the build upon it, expand upon it, and add new vignettes to the film, update it with new music and stuff like that. Uh, so 70 years later, we were tasked with making this video game, Fantasian, and what does that mean? We're about to show you what we think that means today. Uh, so in the game, we cast you as the role of the Sorcerer's Apprentice. If you've ever seen the film where Mickey Mouse is in it, he conducts the heavens. Um, you are the new Sorcerer's Apprentice. You are going to enter musical worlds, one of which we'll show you today. They're musical 3D worlds that Annette's going to enter using the Kinect camera, magic. 
She enters these musical worlds and they are 3D musical spaces that she can reach out and touch. And they are made out of music. And you're gonna bring them to life, discover magic in these worlds, and hopefully be surprised by some of the cool things that you see. We're gonna show you what that means. So using the Connect camera, Annette can actually uh, navigate through the space by just stepping left and right. And we're seeing this world right here. Pretty quiet right now, not much going on. If Annette actually raises her hand, she's gonna get a 3D cursor that we call the Muse. And this is the Muse that she's gonna to use to reach in and touch these 3D spaces to find magic. And it's actually a 3D cursor, so she can go in and out of the screen as well to find things that are in the, in the world. She found these seahorses right here. She can spin them around using her hand. And this is pretty cool. This 3D cursor is actually really neat. It's not like, you know, you have Connect and you can like go left and right on the screen in the menus to order pizza and stuff. This is a 3D cursor. You can reach in and touch the world. We're really proud of that. So she actually found that little musical toy. She got some magic added to a collection bar up on the top of the screen. But to really gain some magic, she's actually going to enter what we call song portals. And she's actually found the first one in here. It's Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. You guys know that song? So there's two parts of the game. There's uh, Discovery, which you just saw, and we'll show you a little bit more of in a second. And then there's Performance. She's actually gonna perform this song using her hands. She's gonna see cues on the screen. This is not a dance game. This is more, um, we sort of let the player express themselves. They could use either of their hands to hit these cues. And you'll see what that means in a second. Is this the real life? Is this so she's just sort of fantasy? conducting. She's waving her hands to hit these cues in time with the music. From and, and now so far, this is Bohemian Rhapsody as you've heard it before, and I hear some of you singing. And I want you to keep singing. By God, please, do not stop singing. There you go. Greg's getting into it. But part of the magic of Fantasia is actually changing the music. Annette is actually going to get a musical choice where she can actually swap out a piece of the original song for a remix version of that song. She's going to come up to a remix choice in a second where she's going to change the song in a pretty dramatic and pretty cool way. So what she's done is she's actually pulled out a, a, a stem from the original track, the original master track, and she's brought in actually some orchestral pieces of the song. You can sing. Don't be shy. So now you can hear she has the violins in the background. She has the original bass. She has the original Freddie Mercury vocals. But she can actually make other choices as well to change the way the music sounds. So let's see what she does now. So she's brought in some heavy metal bass. Listen to that. It's pretty cool. And every time Annette plays this song or you play this song, she's going to make different choices that will make the song sound different. We're all friends here. So what she's come up here is a musical manipulator moment. What Annette's trying to do, she's trying to trace the outside of this little shape, this cube. And if she can, and she will be able to do it because she's really, really good at this game. Played it a couple of times. She's going to unlock a musical manipulator where she can actually reach out and touch the music and create her own music. We call this the effect sculptor. What Annette is actually doing is she's adding delay and echo and different effects to the guitar solo in real time just by using her hands. I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. 
You guys like heavy metal? Nope. She missed it. She missed it. You do? Alright, we'll do it again some other time for Tim. Tim's crying back here because he missed the drum. We're actually coming up to yet another musical manipulator. And this one, she's actually going to reach out on a sphere and she's going to paint the guitar solo. She, she's going to make her own guitar solo. So she reaches up, she paints it, when she puts her hands down and plays that guitar solo back. And we actually modulate the chords and the progression with the music so it always sounds good no matter what she does. But she has a pretty fine control over what the song's going to sound like. Guitar! What are you going to pick, Annette? All right, bring it some Tiffany. Everybody giving it a hand. So that was Bohemian Rhapsody with some heavy metal bass, some symphonic elements in the background. What Annette actually missed and what I'm really excited about is there's some crazy heavy metal like Dave Lombardo style drums that she could have brought in. But um, I'm really disappointed in Annette she missed it. But it's actually really cool. Every time you play this song, you're going to hear something different each and every time. I've heard that maybe 150 times since we announced the game in June. And I don't really want to kill myself yet because I, it's different every time. So that's pretty cool. So we're gonna explore the musical world. She's actually got some magic from that song and she's brought it back into the world and she has this transformation key. She can actually reach out and touch it. She can swipe it, let's see what happens. So the magic from that song, you know, the musical magic she's brought back into the world, we found that there's this sea turtle hanging out in the background. He's actually kind of cool. He's just chilling back there. If actually Annette grabs that key, she can actually swipe it to the other side and see what, see what else is happening on him. Nope, nope, to your right. There he is. So there he is, Sea Turtle on the other side. He has a little musical calliope on his back. She can actually earn magic. Play some music. It's kind of cool. It's all about these little discovery elements in the world. If Annette actually steps to her right, this other side of the scene is still actually pretty quiet. Um, I need somebody to cheat. Somebody needs to grab the controller and cheat. Greg said he was going to do it, but then he disappeared. If somebody could actually uh, press the right bumper on the controller to cheat, don't tell anybody we're doing this. I don't like to be known as a cheater. Right bumper, should do it. Oh boy, usually I do this. There you go. Yeah! Cheats, don't tell anybody that happened, all right? Because I don't like, is this streaming live? All right, so she's got actually more musical magic from that song we've just skipped through. That's fun, some nights. Um, we have a wide variety of music in the game, over 30 songs. We have classical music. Um, we have electronic music, heavy metal, pop music, and you'll be able to transform it in all cool different ways. So she's actually got the magic from that song, and we're actually going to show you uh, two more things. Using that transformation key, she can discover a trench. And hidden in that trench is what we call the symphony of fish. So what we do here now is we, the player can reach out and touch this little coral area, and then touch the fish. And each of those fish makes a musical note. And that's actually a vocal sample from Fun Some Nights. 
and then we have this little clarinet sample. Now, once we've taught the player that all these different little fish make different musical notes, the player can actually use a combination of those fish to create their own musical melody using those fish. They're actually going to go ahead and play that back. And Annette likes it, so she's going to back out. And these fish are actually going to follow her back out into the world. In a second, those fish, they're going to pop out. They're going to start playing the melody in the background. And that's really bringing the world to life here. And that's what we want the player to be doing when they play the game. There's a lot of stuff to find in the shoal. We have over, I think, 10 different worlds uh, like this that you can explore. They're all different. We have a factory. We have like a snowy forest. And in the worlds, there's going to be really cool stuff that you can discover, including something that we really, really love, which is hiding in the back of the sea turtle. And Annette's going to go in there. She spreads open like she's parting a curtain. And on the back of this turtle are clams. And these clams are a drum set. And they're a drum set because it's a video game and basically we can do whatever the hell we want in these video games, right? Also, there's a slow gas leak in her office. So Annette can actually reach out, she can touch the clams, make her own drum fill. Put their hands down. Take a little jazz clams for you. She can get really fine with that. She can be recorded as many times as she wants. And whenever she's happy with that, Annette can play with this for hours because she's a small child. Or she can back out. And like those fish, the clams are going to populate the world. We're going to bring the world to life with the music that Annette created. There's a lot more to explore in Fantasia Music Evolved. Um, we're pretty excited about the game, which will be out next year um, on Xbox One and Xbox 360. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out, checking out the game. If you have any questions about the game or if you want some Fantasia pins, you can come talk to Annette and I. We're happy to talk to you and give you some free stuff. Uh, thank you so much. I love you all. Everybody, one quick sec between acts here. Hi, good to see you. Are you guys having fun? Thank you for coming. Woo! I want to call out one more special guest. Hey, come over here from the bar, special guest. Hey, Nikki. 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 She can't hear me. I'm pointing right at you. Frank Cifaldi, stop talking to her. Frank Cifaldi. Frank. C I, I, I'll call her out later. Hey, come here. Not you, her. Come here. Come over here. Come over here. Get over here. Just one second. I want to call out, uh, where is she? One of my favorite voice actresses in the world. Here she is. I just want to say, we're in the middle of an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency. An evil madman is creating a fleet of psycho death tanks to take over the world, and the only one who can stop it is you and me. Oh, my God. Let's make out. Woo! <laughs> Nikki Rapp, everybody, the voice of Lily. In Psychonauts, and the voice of Lily in Walking Dead, who shot my girlfriend, but I don't hold that against her. So, I just want to have a big round of, hand, big round of applause for Nikki. Thank you, and thanks everybody. I just want to say hi in between, because I wasn't getting enough attention. So, okay, now, on to the... I'm not going to be able to do that. 
everybody. Hi. So, I'm Zach Wood from Sony Santa Monica. Thank you. Uh, unfo uh -huh. So, unfortunately, the co-creators, Ricky Haggett and Richard Hogg, couldn't be here, so I'm here in their place. Um, just a quick show of hands, how many people are familiar with Hohokam? Yeah. Eh, like 20%, okay. All right, so those of you that have been following Hohokam, this logo probably looks a little bit different. So we just changed our logo. This is the beautiful artwork of Richard Hogg. Um, so we're kind of rebranding. The original logo had the player character in script and it was kind of hard to read. And so this one we think sort of speaks to the larger world of the game. Uh, so I'm not going to do a ton of talking up here. One of the questions I get the most is, what is Hohokam? What is it? And I tend to deflect it a little bit because I sort of feel like the, the discovery of the game is one of the things that makes it so enjoyable. So we have it upstairs. Really encourage you to come and check it out. I'm going to show a couple of trailers. So this is probably going to be news for some of you. We showed this first trailer at E3. One of the things that, that we're all super psyched about with this game is that we're uh, collaborating with Ghostly International on the soundtrack. So some of our favorite artists are doing original music for the game. So this first trailer that I'm gonna show you was from E3, and it's kind of a tone, uh, more, more kind of speaking of the tone of the game, the style of the game. There's some variety of different environments in, in, the, in the trailer. The music is an original by Tycho, and the trailer's by Mark Rabo and we will roll it.
Thanks. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> um, so yeah. So rather than describe sort of what it is, it's probably easier to describe what it's not. It's not a stressful game. You can't die. You really can't fail. It's really just meant to be a game to just kind of get lost in and enjoy. Um, it's really beautiful. The music's fantastic. Um, the sound design's fantastic. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of it in a nutshell. The other we're going to show the next trailer, and this one is kind of a departure for us. We did uh, we want to do something a little bit different. So this isn't a standard video game trailer at all. It's kind of like a more of like a music video, focusing on like one world in the game. The game is made up of like 15 to 16 different worlds, and so this is just one world in the game. The cast of characters and the activity and things that are going on there set in sort of a music video style. And the music is by Matthew Deere. The track is called Temptation. And the trailer is by Scott Benson. Thanks. Uh, so yeah, the game's playable upstairs. Please come by and check it out, and thanks a lot. <laughs>